Hello, it's David from Guitarist Magazine, and today we're looking at a couple of PJD guitars. In my hands, I have the Woodford Standard. Behind me in a case is the St. John Standard, but we'll take this one first. Um, basically, what we're talking about here is a two-piece ash body, and it's, as you can see, a standard sort of configuration, not dissimilar at all from a Stratocaster. Um, we've got three single coil pickups courtesy of bare knuckle boot camp uh, we've got three controls which again are, are anyone familiar with a strap will know what's going on down here You've got two tones one master volume there's no tone control for the bridge pickup although that's a pretty straightforward modification should you desire five-way position switch uh, positions two and four give you humbucking or at least noise cancelling I should say. Um, no trem, um, so we don't have a trem cavity here. While we're on the back you'll notice you've got a nice little contour here with this four bolt system. Um, the bolts are actually put into uh, metal uh, recesses in the neck so it will, there's no need for a neck plate here it's quite secure as I say a cutaway here to ease your hand into those upper frets as far as the neck is concerned you've got a roasted maple neck um, with a compound radius goes from 10 inches to 12 inches which facilitates nice smooth bending um, hardware overall is by go to so you've got the go-to slotted um, tuners this end they're not they're not locking ordinary sort of fender type um, and obviously a, a stop tail piece here with the individual uh, string saddles and as I say no trim so uh, what else can I tell you you've got a thin nitro uh, nitrocellulose finish and it is it is thin too because you can actually feel the uh, the contours of the ash body through the um, through the finish which is nice I, I actually like it people are divided as to whether they do or, or not some like a gloss feel um, 22 frets these sort of oblong position markers with uh, pearlescent position markers to the side of the the neck um, the the actual name on the top of the headstock here the uh, the maker's name is uh, engraved into the this sort of telecaster style headstock which is again a very nice touch um, it's not heavy it's not chambered not weight relief the, but it comes in about 7.8 pounds so it's certainly not the heaviest hardtail I've uh, I've ever picked up remember that you've got that extra bit of wood there that would normally be taken away for the uh, trim cavity and everything um, feels really nice in the hand and uh, in a mo we'll see how it sounds but a word on today's signal chain I'm going through a Hudson broadcast pedal just to give it a little bit of extra fuzz into an orange Rockverb 50 Mark III.
Right, now we switch over to the St. John's standard. Very, very similar in many, many respects. And you'll see that, again, we're, we're talking about a, a basically a fender design, but very, very different in this department. In as much as we've got a humbucker in the bridge, which is a cream tea eliminator. And as you can probably guess from the name there, it's one of the uh, whiskerbucker uh, range, which is obviously tied into a certain Mr. Billy Gibbons. Um, it's got four conductor wiring, but it's not been coil tapped, but that is a fairly simple after after purchase mod that you can uh, do yourself. The other pickup is a P90 nicknamed the Duke, which I understand is based on a 1950s Gibson. Um, you've got two controls, very, very simple, simple tone and volume, three position selector switch. Body, once again, is ash, only this time it's chambered, it's weight relieved, and so this clocks in around seven pounds, so not at all unwieldy, it's quite light in the hands. The neck, very, very similar to the other PJD we've looked at today, uh, in as much as it's got a compound radius between 10 and 12 inches, roasted maple once again, um, C radius, very, very comfortable, feels great in the hand, um, obviously no trim, um, controls are back rooted this time. Uh, we've got the same neck joint here, same recessed bolts, and the same contour, which makes getting to the top of the neck really, really straightforward and easy. Um, go to hardware once again, engraved make a name on the top once again. So this one is altogether a little bit more powerful as you can probably imagine humbuckers versus single coils. So we've had to tweak the controls on our pedal and orange amp just to tame it a little bit to make way for the girth of the humbucker. So let's hear how it sounds. Thank you. 